Guys, what's up? It's your boy Crypto Marco yet again with another awesome video on the topic of cryptocurrencies. The currency your friendly bank employee from around the corner told you to stay away from because he said that they're very sketchy. And in this video, we're going to talk about Lisk and Neo and compare them with Ethereum because uh, while they're different and have different ideas in mind, they do have their very own simu uh, differences. But before I get into that, I just wanted to say thank you very much for being here. I appreciate everybody watching my videos and I hope you get a lot of value from this video and learn something. So we're here on the landing page of LISC under the learn more section and I'm just going to read out um, what uh, th this text here and I'm going to integrate it to you. Uh, nowadays we have Apple's App Store and Google's Play Store both centralized solutions owned by co corporations for centralized applications. The LISC Foundation believes in a decentralized future in order to achieve this. LISC strives to make blockchain technology accessible for everybody by building a blockchain application platform, likewise for users and developers. So as you can see, LISC is trying to simplify the building of dApps and making it as easy to distribute and to monetize and publish so they're basically kind of attacking the market of uh, apple's app store and google's play store so they're a platform for dApps and uh, unique blockchains um furthermore on may 24th 2016 the list blockchain network went live with its own cryptocurrency called lsk from that date, the LISC Foundation is working hard together with its contractors towards the release of their software development kit SDK. This SDK is a framework written in JavaScript to deploy your own blockchain network next to the main list, LISC network. Decentralized applications can be built on top of your own blockchain. So uh, the key word right here is JavaScript because if you're familiar with blockchains, you maybe know that uh, Ethereum don't, doesn't use JavaScript, but that is Solidity, which is its own different um, programming language. But uh, JavaScript, on the other hand, it's a programming language that most programmers know, and it's very um, easy to use. So kind of the it, it's easy to get into Lisk, while for Ethereum, you would have to learn how to code in Solidity. Um, although that's an advantage, the disadvantage is that JavaScript isn't as fast as, for example, C++ or even Java itself. So everything has its advantages and disadvantages. And while, for example, Ethereum is using smart contracts, um, Lisk is, is, uh, is solving their problems with something called sidechains. But later on that, we're going to talk more on that. Um, by the way, if you don't know what Ethereum is, make sure to check out my video on Ethereum. Possibilities are endless, like developing platform independent social networks, messengers, gamers, games, and so on. All your own blockchain network, including corresponding token, fully decentralized, and all this without the hassle of complicated consensus algorithm or peer-to-peer to networking protocols. So the cool thing that Lisk is trying to do is basically, you know, when you're working with Apple or Google, you're they're offering their shop to you, but on every transaction you're doing, you have to pay a small fee to them. And obviously it's centralized, so when you're trying to upload an app on uh, the App Store, that's probably the biggest pain in the ass that you can have. If it's, you know, if it's some kind of normal app or a boring app, it might not be a problem, but they have many regulations, like for example, um, if you develop an app where you have to balance the iPhone on your head, you couldn't do that because that could damage the iPhone and uh, that's why you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't be allowed to upload uh, that application. While it, I mean, it kind of makes sense, but then there are also uh, rules that are a lot dumber and you kind of have the feeling like, why are they making these many regulations? But uh, that's, of course, a disadvantage of a centralized uh, store. So Lisk is trying to provide a solution for people who are working with uh, decentralized apps and um, are striving to become the app store of decentralized apps. Um, if we go to, the, to, to their landing page here, you can see the future potential of Lisk application platform. Step one, code. 
So here you can see somebody coding something on Lisk. Decentralized blockchain application will be built on Lisk from the ground up in pure JavaScript and take advantage of the powerful Lisk APIs. In addition, every app will run on its own sidechain to ensure that Lisk itself stays safe and scalable. Currently in development, these features will become available towards Q4 2017. So step one is code, step two, empty, deploy. The Lisk platform will allow for a multitude of storage options for your blockchain applications. Deploy your code in a zip arch archive to services such as GitHub or a web server. And once deployed, you can register your application on the Lisk platform by filling in necessary fields like name, description, tags, and download links. So they're trying to make this decentralized um, app thing as uncomplicated as possible. Step three, use the list network is a decentralized powerhouse by utilizing our extensive user base and end users and developers can find third party nodes to execute future blockchain applications through service all over the world in truly decentralized manner. As a developer, grow the application's user base through the combined efforts of Lisk directory and Lisk global community network. So you can store your code on GitHub or some other web server secured by world wide decentralized com computation of code monetize application by providing a seamless experience for user so you're going to get paid in lisk afterwards um so as you can see right now lisk is on the 14th uh, place in the coin market cap and the price has been exploding in the last uh, few days so as you can see if we go go to coin checkup which has a bit more information than uh, coin market cap you'll see that in the last 30 days Lisk gained 31% and overall return of investment is 300%. And while this is a good thing, like nobody kind of knows where that price development comes from. And in a Reddit post, like I recommend this article if you want to learn more on Lisk. It says, since 48 hours, someone is manipulating the LSK price trade on Bittrex. These guys or guy currently doing this have massive amounts of a, a massive, massive amounts of dollars as well as Lisk and are manipulating the whole market since Monday afternoon. You're a classic whale. So obviously they they don't think that there's like an actual whale behind the computer. They're talking about a whale investor. So somebody who maybe um, bought, you know, Lisk at the ICO for a discounted price because they were buying so much, and then they have a lot of a lot more power than the normal investor. They are working with bots, and Bitrex does unfortunately nothing against this kind of manipulation reads the post so um in conclusion lisk is a decentralized way of distributing applications and unlike ethereum it's not using solidity it's using uh, javascript and rather than smart contracts it's using sidechains so lisk not only i mean but you, at the end of the day you can't really compare lisk and ethereum one to one like the one is an apple and the other one is an orange because Ethereum is something that is like can be applied to a lot of things and Lisk is specialized in, in uh, decentralized apps. Um, and now I, I, I promised you that we're going to talk about NEO. And uh, NEO, why don't you, aren't you showing up here? I think it was NEO IO. Nope. This is awkward when this happens while I'm making a video, but that's okay neo.org so um basically as you can see neo also one of the cryptocurrencies that uh, gained that was going through a pretty bullish phase and that started off at like 18 cents and uh, had the peak at 28 dollars or maybe even higher yes 41 dollars and uh, with with neo you had a return of investment which is a lot a lot a lot higher than it was for example for um yeah you can see 19,000%. Um so a lot higher return of investment on Neo and I made a video on Neo but so if you want to check it out just go ahead and do that. Um so basically um Neo is kind of the Ethereum of Asia and unlike uh, Ethereum which I already said it a, f a few times is using uh Solidity uh the smart contracts on NEO are being done over C++ and Java. And um, 
I I don't want to get into too much details on Neo because I already did in my uh, in in another video. So you can you should go ahead and check it out if you want to see what's up with Neo. Um, and I guess that this is pretty much it. Everything I wanted to say. So I hope you now know what's the difference between um, what's what's the deal with Lisk, what deal has to do with Ethereum, um, what Neo is, what Neo has to do with Ethereum. If you want want a little bit more in depth insights on that topic, check out my video I made specifically for Neo. And thank you very much for watching and sticking with me. I know it was a long video, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave it a thumbs up. Um, also, comment down below if uh, you have some feedback or if you wanna if you're disagreeing with something I'm saying. I mean, I'm not perfect. Uh, I'm just a human being that makes mistakes here and there. And uh, don't forget that. I'm not a financial advisor, do your own research. And um, as an incentive for you to discuss this uh, rather difficult topic with me, you have the chance of winning a small amount of money in the form of Litecoin once a week on every Sunday. So the 26th of November, I'm gonna announce the winner. And I'm giving away Litecoin because the fees on Bitcoin are too damn high. So I just wish you a lot of luck. Mm, keep in mind that I don't make my money on Lisk or Neo. I'm making the bulk of my income right now with BitConnect. So if you want to check it out, just go ahead. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my other videos if you want to see more on cryptocurrencies or subscribe to my channel if you are interested in cryptocurrencies that are making me really happy. And thanks for watching. I wish you a lot of luck with your trading, a lot of health in your life. And see you soon. Bye bye.